Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to MLB The Show 24 Mariners franchise. We're going to look at the results of the draft. We've got all our picks signed. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Here's the big reveal. What do we have? we got some interesting pieces here. Um, Lee Hamill ended up being a sneaky one. Now, where my face cam is... Oh, you can kind of see. Okay. So Lee Hamill's actual potential is 92. The problem is he's a 52 and he's 21 years old. So that's too bad. But the guy hits lefties. 5'9", 195. He's about my size. That's crazy. Some speed, good defense. He's a right fielder. Okay. Looks like he's going to mash lefties. So I'm excited about that. That's a nice surprise. Hendricks Barrero. We scouted him at 84 to 89. He ended up being an 83, 23 years old with that potential. He's a 57, so he's just a long ways off once again. And then, of course, John Dahl, the third baseman that we were pretty excited about. Shows up. It looks like his defense is really good, but his ability to hit the baseball is just not there. I don't really see him being much, but he'll fill out our ranks a little bit. Luis Espinosa, we were hoping that he would come in on the upper end of his ratings, he does not. But he does have some pop against lefties, so he could definitely be valuable. He is a switch hitter with some speed. So I could see that potentially being something in the future. And then Will Ludwick comes in at an 82 with his actual potential, which is great. And you can see he's actually pretty close to being big league ready with the bat, despite being a 54 overall. So... A lot of good stuff there. I'm excited about Will Ludwick out of Tennessee. He's got good vision and good clutch, too. A 72. It's going to be a nice little pick for us. So, not a great year, um, but I wanted to go position player heavy, and we got what we ended up needing. These two guys did not sign with us. We could not agree to any terms with them, which was too bad. Let's take a look. Alex Herrera, closer. Texas. Texas has drafted really well. This is the first year they really kind of struggled, but even so, 20-year-old closer who comes in at a 75 overall is insane. I don't know how they do that. That ends up being a great pick for them. So that's cool. Jack Robinson, starting pitcher to the Braves. He's an 87 potential. Throws really hard. Lefty from Canada. That's pretty cool. All right. They got lucky with that. And then uh, Santiago Orozco. This was a guy that we really liked. This is what he comes in looking like. Don't really know what he's going to turn into. He's a 47 overall. It's kind of tough. What? Gary Talbot here in Miami. Comes in 94 potential. So Miami gets a nice little gem there. And he's a 58 overall at 18 years old. He's not too far off. He'll be big league ready here in a couple of years. Six feet, 175 out of Delaware. Some speed. Looks to be an all-around solid player, so that's exciting for Miami. David Rodriguez, this is a nice pick as far as catchers are concerned. The arm's not there, but... Okay. So, so far, that's kind of been the steal. Eric Kaminsky, 87. It's a good pick for the Mets shortstop he's actually big league ready now the defense is pretty rough but his contact hitting ability is nice he's got a good arm too and a little speed It'll be interesting to see what the Mets do with him it's hard when somebody's got a 34 in fielding to play them at a shortstop but we'll see what happens and then another big one relief pitcher Eloy Escalona 94 so that's nice 94 potential okay Michael Orr catcher for the Phillies, look at how good he is. Man, bats left, throws right. A potential, he's 18 years old. Cannon of an arm. It'll be exciting to see him develop. That'll be pretty fun. That's about it for the Phillies there. Daniel Hildalgo to the Nats, 85 potential. A couple of guys that were just 80s, so not really bad picks, but nothing crazy there. Fernando Montez, a closer, an 89 potential. Felipe Estrada was the catcher that I really wanted bad. And it's unfortunate that we did not draft him because look at what he can do. 
he can hammer baseballs. The defense is not there, but boy, he is a really good hitter out of the Dominican Republic. That's a heartbreaker. Lance Brady was another guy that I was interested in. Comes in at an 83 overall. So a couple of picks that I wanted that didn't end up happening for us. Drew Hirsch was a shortstop that we had some interest in. I'm glad that we didn't uh, go that direction. Marcus Sixto. There's not really much here for St. Louis. Not much for the Diamondbacks. A couple of solid players here. Three solid starters, all in the low 80s. So that's not really bad. Wow. Colorado Rockies have three guys, 86 or above, all starting pitchers. So Leo Bean, this was a guy that we had looked at. Juan Moros and Lee O'Leary. Three absolute dogs. Different, what do they got? Lefty, a righty, and a lefty. That's crazy. What a good draft for the Rockies. And then even Frank Romano, this catching prospect, isn't bad. Good draft for them. Nothing really to the Dodgers or Padres. The San Francisco Giants. James House. This is a guy that we wanted, I think. It's a shame that we did not get him because he is going to be awesome. Left fielder. 90 potential, and then Esquivel, starting pitcher, 90 potential. Good draft for San Francisco. Uh, Alan Bennett, David Castro, nothing really for the O's. Derek Meredith, a closer for the Red Sox. Turns out to be a pretty good option. Johnny Crosby, right fielder. We looked at him, too. Wow. 88 potential for him. And he is big league ready. Well, maybe not quite defensively, but the bats there. The Yankees may have found a big piece. Salvador Rodriguez here for Tampa Bay. 88 overall potential. Comes in at a 66. So it'll be a couple of years, but he's got some pop. That's exciting for them. Looks like he's going to be a solid defender. Solid speed. Nice. 87. Steve Rickles for the Blue Jays. Turns into a nice starting pitcher there. And Eddie Rodriguez to the White Sox. This was probably the best player in the draft. Scouted at 88 to 98. Comes in at a 94 actual potential. 77 overall. He is big league ready at 21 years old. Hammers right-handed pitching. Bats left throws right out of the DR. Not too many second basemen that are that good at hitting. So that's exciting for the White Sox. Maybe that can help them a little bit. The Guardians didn't sign their number one overall pick. But they did sign Kendrick Blanchard, a relief pitcher. Not much for the Guardians. Nothing really for Detroit. Nothing for Kansas City, which is too bad. I mean, they've got some decent... Like Garrett Isaac, a starting pitcher, 85 potential. Derek Reed, left field, 81 potential, so not bad. Then we come in here. Henry Benitez, left fielder, picked up by the Twins. Yeah, he's going to be great. 88 potential. He's already showing some ability to hit lefties. That's pretty exciting for them. Oh, the Oakland A's. With the pick of the draft, Bernardo Sanchez comes in at 99 potential. This is the first 99 that I've seen. 18 years old. That's a generational player. Center fielder. Comes in at 80 overall. He's got 91 speed. Good defender. Can hit all arms. He's got pop. True five-tool guy. The A's may be scary because they have a couple of guys now that are really good and young that are going to be problems. And boy, add Bernardo Sanchez to that list. He is going to be insane. What a pick. And that will do it.
I'm happy with the Will Ludwig pick, and I'm happy with the Lee Hamill, even though he's going to be a while. Kind of a long shot. I thought Hendricks Barrero would be better. Scouted him at an 83. I just, I don't know. I have a hard time finding good position player talent, you know? But, okay. That's our draft and review. We finished up a set in Boston. We did not play well. We've kind of been playing poorly lately. But uh, we'll look to get back on track in Oakland. Looks like JP Sears is on the mound. We are 72 and 39, so if we look at the standings, we have a 10 and a half game lead over the Rangers, which is great. Um, the Braves have 74 wins, 73 for the Diamondbacks. So we are definitely solidly one of the best teams in baseball. Um, just the best pitching staff for sure. And you kind of look at our schedule, a lot of road games here. And we've got guys chasing hardware as well. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. That is our draft and review. Next year, we're going to try to do a better job and kind of take what good value we can. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.